School districts in Monroe County will now have the option to implement the test to stay safety procedure for students. This would allow unvaccinated students who are exposed to COVID-19 the chance to test for the virus each day for a week instead of having a quarantine. A big deal. Christian Garzone has more on that and joins us now outside of Henry Hudson School Number 28 this evening. Christian. Well, Adam, the Public Health Commissioner, Dr. Michael Mendoza, says this is a quicker way to get more students back to the classroom after a potential COVID exposure. It's also a way to preserve some kind of normalcy as COVID cases climb in our area. Dr. Mendoza reminded all, COVID-19 is not done with us yet. An increase in new cases are coming from school-aged children. The rising case numbers threaten to, and already have, disrupted what we and what our schools and teachers have worked so hard to preserve. Although he says transmission isn't necessarily coming from the classroom. Before and after school is when youngsters are getting infected, he says. He's hoping to change that. By getting our 5 to 11 year olds vaccinated and by being careful with gatherings in our homes. And to keep more students in school, he approved a new protocol called Test to Stay. It works like this. If an unvaccinated student has close contact with a person with COVID, they can take a rapid test with results in hours instead of days. Test to Stay allows students who would need to be quarantined, that is unvaccinated students who are within six feet of an infected individual for more than 15 minutes, to test to stay in school. That means instead of quarantining at home, they can get back to class. Pediatrician Dr. Ed Lewis says anything to keep kids in school is a plus. He just hopes the capacity is there. I was thrilled to hear Dr. Mendoza come up with this plan. Um, I hope it can be implemented. I hope the school nurses have the bandwidth to add one more thing to their, their day. Mendoza says right now at schools, vaccinated or not, masks are worn. One of the best things students can do outside of class is to mask up and be smart about gatherings. I ask all parents to recommit to what we all did last year, masking indoors whenever possible. And for this test to stay, be sure to check with your local school district to see if this is an option they'll choose to have going forward. Live in Rochester, Christian Garzone, News 8. Adam, right back to you.